Hey guys, Neom is here. Also now for today's video, I am located outside. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video based on the Europa League draw, which is literally just finished about 10-15 minutes ago. Uh, and I wanted to talk about the Arsenal tie. That's right, Olympiacos versus Arsenal into the next round of the Europa League, along with some other pretty juicy mouth-watering ties. But let's first talk about the Arsenal for us to get Olympiacos, Olympiacos aside that uh, we literally faced, what, two, three years ago uh, in the in the Champions League. They, they were the, the, the year that we lost were in the Champions League and we didn't perform well um, in, in both legs. We won in the end um, over the cross two legs. But this was a game where we struggled in. Uh, and now to, to draw Olympiacos in the Europa League, I don't know what their team looks like right now. The only thing I know is that uh, it is the Joel Campbell derby, uh, as was said on The Guardian. So we're going to see the return of Joel Campbell to the Emirates. Uh, and what it means is that, it, wow, it, it's, it's going to be a tough draw. It's going to be a tough draw for Arsenal. Um, you just know that, that the team is going to play pretty much well. And you know it's going to be a situation where Arsenal have to, we have to play out our best. You know, we can't pussyfoot around. We can't, like, we just have to come with our top game. Or else this is going to be a situation whereby we're going to go and perform the way how we have been performing so far. And we're going to get absolutely mullered. And we just can't have that. Just can't have that. I mean, it's it's been an interesting season so far uh, definitely not like how everyone would have expected it so we have to use this competition as our way of saying you know what let's try to do something more you know and this is probably our best way back into Europe even though I, I personally think like we're in a situation where we're so far away from Europe we shouldn't even be thinking about it but nevertheless we're in the Europa League We've just been drawn Olympiacos. I'm, I'm, I'm actually worried and I shouldn't be. I, I shouldn't be thinking Olympiacos, woo, you know. But in a way, I guess it could have been worse. Well, maybe not, especially when looking at some of the other sides that I've got. So what we have here is Wolves, they drew against Espanyol. Uh, Ajax got Getafe. Uh, but I love because we've got Porto. That, that's a tough one uh, for both sides. Uh, if, if I'm Porto, I didn't want to get uh, Leverkusen. And if I'm Leverkusen, I didn't want to get Porto. Uh, then you got Cluj. They drew Sevilla. That's a tough one. Uh, Celtic got Copenhagen. Uh, and Bruges got Manchester United. So that's, that's a tough one. I wouldn't mind taking Bruges. And then Inter Milan got Ludogorets. Uh, those for me are like the big ties, the ones to worry about, the ones where you start thinking, you know what, uh, you wouldn't mind going out watching. Um, but Arsenal Olympiacos, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I mean, we've be really got the whole of January, the whole of the transfer window, uh, and we've got, you know, part of February to try to fix as well as the rest of this month. So, you know, maybe we could do something, you know, maybe over the course of the next six weeks, we get in the right manager uh, into the club uh, and things could happen. But this is just a kind of a quick, quick one just to give you kind of my uh, reaction on it. But it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But leave your, um, leave your comments below, like, subscribe. Uh, really looking to hear what you guys have to say on this uh, again apologies for um, the video quality uh, I definitely expected a little bit uh, I definitely wanted to do this at home but this is just one where I just had to just had to at the time but leave your comments below on what do you think Arsenal versus Olympiacos and yeah subscribe like and I will see you guys again next time